Have you been asked to perform closing entries and you're not quite sure what to do? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you how easy it is to perform closing entries in today's video. But first I want to say I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. If you're someone who finds accounting tricky, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That helps with the YouTube algorithm, and I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Today we're going to perform some closing entries. And these are usually done at the end of the period, maybe the end of the year. And it closes out your temporary accounts, such as your revenue accounts and your expense accounts. And it closes them out to retained earnings. And we're going to show how that is done today. I just have some example accounts. Uh, here, obviously, there may be many more accounts that you're closing, but you will get the idea by following along. So I'm just showing some relevant general ledger balances. And in this case, we have a service revenue credit balance of 200000 And then, of course, our expenses all have debit balances. We have a wages expense of 75000 rent expense of 12000 and other. I just lumped everything else together as other expenses as $10,000. We just for purposes of accounting, we've got a cash balance of 100,000 and we are beginning retained earnings balance is 50,000. So whatever it is at the beginning of the year, in this case it is $50,000 and that will become relevant in a moment. I have gone ahead and transferred these balances to T accounts because I think it's a lot easier to see this if we use T accounts. And if you do like T accounts like this, you can get your own version if you go down in the description of this video and you can get a prof official Professor Capco T account form and then you can fill it in yourself um, and print out copies and, and go ahead and fill them out yourself. So. I'm going to show you how to use these uh, for the closing entries. We're going to be closing to the income summary account. So that's going to be the relevant account that we're going to close our entries to. And that's kind of a place to park the entries and then we'll move them on to retained earnings, which I have down here. And you can see I've got the $50,000 credit balance already sitting there in retained earnings. And I've transferred all the other balances to these T accounts so we can now close them out. Let's start with the service revenue account. In this case, we have a credit balance of $200,000. Since it's a credit, I need to do the opposite and I'm gonna debit 200,000 to close that account out. So this becomes zero. It zero, zeroes out the account at the end of the accounting period. Since I have a debit here, I need to have an offsetting credit. And so that's going to be over here to income summary. So I'm going to credit income summary for $200,000. So the debit is to service revenue the credit would be to income summary. Now I'm using service revenue. It could be any other kind of revenue, rent revenue. It could be sales revenue. This is just for an example. Now let's start closing out our expense accounts. Our wages expense for the year were 75,000. And so our expense is sitting there as a debit. So I'm going to credit our wages expense for 75,000. And since I have a credit here, I need an offsetting debit of 75,000 and that, you guessed it, will be debiting the income summary. Likewise, I need to close out the rent expense. So since I've got a debit balance of 12,000, I'm gonna credit 12,000 to rent expense. That zeroes this account out we zero them out so they're ready to start again with the next accounting period. The new year starts and uh, we've got 
our temporary accounts are zeroed out so we can see how much we earn in that year. So since I've credited rent expense for 12,000, I'm gonna debit income summary for 12,000. And we have one more expense account in this case. And as I mentioned, when you're doing this for real or in your class, you're gonna probably have many more expense accounts, but I'm just doing three so you see how it works. All our other expenses are $10,000 sitting there as a debit. And so I'm going to credit $10,000 to close out our other expense account. And since I'm crediting that expense account, I'm gonna debit our income summary account for that $10,000. So all our expense accounts have now been zeroed out and they're ready for the new year. Let's see where we're at in our income summary account. So on our credits, we have $200,000 on that side. And then we can go ahead and add up, let's add up our debits. And I'm gonna use my BA2 plus calculator here, 75,000. And I'm gonna to add to that the 12,000 and I'm gonna to add to that 10,000 more. And so we've got on the debit side, $97,000. So it's out of balance, but that's to be expected at this point. Um, and uh, we're happy to report that our credits are greater than our debits in the income summary. So it looks like we've made some money. We've made some money because we've our revenues are greater than our expenses. So let me go ahead and see what we need as a debit to income summary that would balance it out. So I can see what the difference between these two are. So if I have 200,000 credits and I take away or subtract the debits of 97,000, that's a difference of 103,000. So in other words, we need 103,000 here on the debit side to zero this out. So I'm gonna debit $103,000 here. So that means that we'll have 200,000 here and 200,000 here, which effectively zeroes out our income summary account. And since I debited 103,000, I need to credit that somewhere. Where is that going? Well, that's going to retained earnings. So I debited income summary 103,000. So I'm gonna credit retained earnings for 103,000. That closes out the income summary account. So all our expense accounts are closed out. Our service account, our revenue accounts are closed out. And now we've closed out our income summary account. So we have retained earnings. We're gonna add that to our beginning balance, which is 50,000. So our retained earnings account is now $153,000. Now let's say that the board of directors has decided that we're going to pay out dividends of $50,000. So cash dividends are gonna be paid out of 50,000 in amount to the investors in the amount of $50,000. So we've got $100,000 sitting in our cash account. So we're going to credit $50,000 because we're paying that out. So we're reduce, reducing our cash account by 50,000. And since I credited something for 50,000, I need a debit for 50,000 and that would be dividends. So I'm going to debit dividends for 50,000. So that's how you do the entry when you pay the dividends. However, we need to close out the dividends accounts because the dividends reduce the amount of retained earnings, right? Our retained earnings right now is 153,000, but we know that's not correct because we paid out $50,000 worth of dividends. How do we do that? Well, of course, again, we're gonna zero it out by doing the, the credit of 50,000.
So I'm going to do this. Let's do this in orange. I'm going to credit dividends for 50000 And that means I need to debit something for 50000 Well, I'm going to debit retained earnings for 50000 That means that we have a new retained earnings balance. If I've got debits of 50,000 and credits of 153,000, that means our new retained earnings balance is going to be $103,000. That's our new balance for retained earnings. You have now properly closed out your temporary accounts for the year. You, there's much more you need to know though, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.